Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about things that I wish the younger generation of people would get more excited about, and they're things that I get excited about. Like when I look at like political issues and things that people uh, talk about and discuss, I hear people talk a lot about like LGBTQ rights, and I feel very strong about this. Like I'm very passionate about these issues myself, and I've seen over recent years I've seen the public sentiment in the U.S. shift from anti-same-sex marriage to pro-same-sex marriage, and I think that's freaking awesome. And then I've not only seen the public sentiment shift, but I've seen the laws shift too. And so that's been really exciting. But there are a lot of issues that I feel like aren't getting the kind of attention that I want them to get, especially among younger people. I spend a lot of time on Tumblr. Like, Tumblr is not a representative slice of young people. Like, it has this sort of liberal bias and so on. But like, I have a sense of like what this more liberal-leaning young people seem to think about. And one thing that I find a little bit troubling is that there's not really all that much discussion of a lot of environmental issues and a lot of things relating to sustainability. And there are things that I think are super important. Um, one of the things that I feel super passionate about is reducing the dependence of the United States of America on cars. Like, the U.S. is super dependent on cars. It's both an environmental issue and a social justice issue. It's a social justice issue because if you're poor beyond a certain point, you can't afford a car. And because the U.S. is so dependent on cars, people who don't have access to a car don't have access to jobs, they often don't have access to buying basic necessities, they don't have access to like places to go for entertainment, all sorts of things like that. And it's not just a question of like economic opportunity restraining you, like there's some people who can't drive for like medical reasons, and those people also are cut off from those things or they have to rely on other people. So like for us to move away from dependence on cars I think is a really awesome thing. I think it's a really worthwhile goal and a really important goal. Uh, it has benefits in terms of the environment, in terms of public health, all sorts of things. Another issue that I wish people would care about more is protecting of wild areas and protecting of populations of wild plants and animals. Like across the United States you have these mass areas of generic suburbia, and a lot of suburbia is landscaped with these mass-produced nursery plants. And like one thing I'm constantly advocating for is for people to, instead of buying nursery plants, for people to garden with plants that are native to their local area, but not just native plants, plants that are from local wild populations. So like, I do a lot of gardening, I do a lot of ecological restoration, and I almost exclusively use stuff that comes up wild from seed within like a one or two mile radius. There are a few plants that I've taken from like as far as like 50 miles away, but I try to keep it really local. Uh, this is another thing I feel really passionately about. Another thing I feel really passionately about is composting. Like I grew up in a household that composts, and composting is awesome. It can hugely reduce your uh, like sending amount of stuff that you send to the landfill. Basically you take any like fruit and vegetable waste and you put it in a separate bin and then you put it out in your yard in this like giant box basically and if you want it to go faster you can turn it over. We don't ever do that, we just let it sit and it eventually turns into soil. In the process it attracts all sorts of bugs and grubs and things. It's great for supporting birds because there are all these insects there that they can eat, they can use to feed their babies and then you get this really rich soil out of it. So then you can grow your food locally, which is so great for the environment because you now have rich soil in your yard, you're growing food, and like you can reduce the amount of money that you spend. See, all this stuff ties together. You can save money, you can save the environment, you can live more sustainably. Like, I feel really passionately about all this stuff, and I want us as a society to be pushing for this stuff as passionately as we are pushing for LGBTQ rights and other like popular issues among young people. Um, I'm not saying to take away from those other things, I think that it's great that we're putting all this passion and energy into those things. I want to see more passion and energy in these other issues because I think they're critically important. Like the way we are living in our society is not sustainable. Like we are using up non-renewable resources, we are destroying ecosystems, we are driving species to extinction, and we can stop 
all of these things. We can enjoy a higher standard of living, a higher quality of life, and like have a more positive effect on the environment by making these sorts of changes. So like these are some things that I'm thinking about. Yeah, I hope you can get excited about them too. Thank you.